Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Kava Sewer here, coming at you from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, yeah, I've been out of the country for a month. I was in uh, the uh, Republic of Benin in West Africa, uh, doing some really important work in uh, agriculture and whatnot. However, uh, I'm sure you didn't um, visit my YouTube uh, channel today to hear me blather on about my work in, in Benin and elsewhere. Um, Today I want to talk about something that uh, comes up every now and then on the Kava Lounge, the official Kava Sewer uh, Facebook discussion group, and um, and that's whether Kava is addictive, and it's tangentially related to my trip to Benin because um, uh, much of the time when I travel, I, I bring Kava with me. Um, and don't really have much of a difficult time getting it through immigration and customs. But uh, this time around, I just had like these giant kilo bags of kava that um, that I was drinking from here in my apartment. And I was like, hmm, they're unlabeled, they're like vacuum sealed. I didn't feel like I wanted to explain that to a, a customs agent in a West African country. Uh, you know, I'm sure, it, could have uh, been fine. I could have explained it to them in, in French, in my my, uh, my broken intermediate advanced French, but um, uh, it still kind of raises more questions than uh, than it does answers when you bring in a vacuum sealed bag of powder. So I just uh, decided to give myself a little break from kava to see how it went, and uh, and here's how it was. Um, shift hands here. My wrist is getting tired. Um, I. Uh, didn't have any reaction really at all to not having kava. Um, I felt normal immediately. And I had been drinking kava every day for, you know, a year or maybe two years up to that point. You know, give or take a, give or take a night here and there. Um, and uh, yeah, going without kava, didn't notice any, any real difference. The only time I started to notice a difference was at the end of like a really long day, I had like these 12 hour days uh, while I was in Benin, you know, sometimes like 14 hour days even. And I was just like super uh, stressed out and exhausted. And I had nothing, you know, to really kind of fall back on, uh, you know, and so I decided, you know, just to, to have like a beer or two um, every now and then to, to relax. And uh, luckily that didn't, you know, spiral into anything unhealthy. Um, I, I can I can I can drink moderately without any problems, um, and uh, yeah, it was fine. Um, the other you know kind of second part of this video uh, that I want to talk about is what it's like to drink kava after you haven't had kava for a long time, and well, I don't know. <laughs> That's the whole point of the video. I wanted to um, drink some kava. Um, after not having any for any for about um, six, five to six weeks, and but you know how it hits me after uh, that long of a break, and uh, so that's what, that's what we're gonna do here today. I'm gonna make some uh, kava mama kava sewer select um, at the strength that I normally make kava at, and I'm gonna give you my first shell impression and my fourth shell impression, and maybe my sixth shell impression if we're lucky. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the point of this video. In addition to talking about the you know, the non-addictive nature of, of kava itself, which I think um, you know, is, is one of the things that it really has going for it and which makes it so important for, for us to have access to in a, in a society and a culture that's plagued by you know, addictive substances. Having something like kava available that's not addictive it's really important, you know, for America, for Europe, uh, for, for people around the world, for Amer for all the different kava cultures that exist all over the world, all of them being of equal importance. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna make up some kava. I'm gonna let you know how it goes. Bula to the hula. First shell.
Well, well, I certainly remember the flavor. <laughs> and um, I think because I haven't had it in a while, because I haven't had it in a while, it's kind of, kind of tastes a little grosser than I remembered. But hey, it's always been an acquired taste. One shell down, three or four or five to go for this video. Hula to the hula! First shell, full body wash over. Nice, nice mellow feeling behind the eyes and the limbs. Zero tolerance detected. Bula to the hula! Still hit me just as nicely as ever. Second shell down, third shell coming up. Shell number three. Feeling groovy, feeling very nice. Reverse tolerance failed. Or just tolerance in general failed. Bula. I didn't even make this coffee particularly strong, so it's good to be home. Oh, baby. Yes, Lord. It's good to be home. Shell number four. Really mellow mood now. To the hula. You must always bula. Yes. Yes, the kava. I like, I like the kava. Oh. All right. <laughs> Shell number five. I am quite near the bottom of the Tanoa. I believe today I have refuted the whole idea of reverse tolerance. No kava for a month, and uh, the kava's hit me harder than it usually does. Either that or I just uh, have become a little lightweight. Bula to the hula. What did we learn today? Well, my experiment of not having kava for a month taught me that kava is not addictive, but uh, if you're uh, you know trying to stop drinking alcohol or you know completely 100% stop trying to drink or other other things like that, then. Uh, you should realize that kava is is uh, can act as like a band aid, but it's not a solution. You gotta work through that stuff by yourself. Well, not by yourself. With you know, you can talk to people about it. I don't have any recommendations for those kinds of people, but they're out there. <laughs> uh, the second thing I learned, or we learned, on this journey through five shells of medium strength kava is that kava after a month you don't have to you know kind of gently get back into it you can you can feel it right away behind the eyes and the joints Ooh-wee. flying high down into the easy chair all right, friends, Kava sewers. 
much love. Let's keep the let's keep Kava global. Let's keep it keep it good, keep it peaceful. To the Kava farmers, to the Kava pioneers, much love and respect. Good to be home.